Oh, yes, yes. I was just looking at these policies, the programs, the names of a government in caring for its people. <laughs> then there's that document issued by a company, uh, an umbrella policy, a blanket policy. Oh, <laughs> uh, the paid up policies, yes. Then there's uh, the political uh, that establishes the policies, right, and the political crime and the political office. Oh, oh my gosh, the political process. <laughs> now, let's say that I know that Bill Benedict's running for sheriff of Clallam County, and I emailed his office, could have been thousands of times. In fact, I keep getting this, your email's too big, and uh, the email mailbox is too full. Ouch. In fact, I get the same thing from uh, Judge Kokenhauer's email address. His mailbox is full, and you would have thought that those that run for office would have went through their emails. <laughs> they would have made sure of all correspondence when running for office that they're violating the laws of the United States so as to get elected to office. <laughs> You know, if if I was really to think about it, I mean, just for a few minutes, <laughs> I would say that I could sue you for knowingly running for office and then refusing to enforce the law so that the citizens wouldn't know about your crimes. <laughs> now, there are a lot of candidates for office because November 6th is going to be the big ballot, and <laughs> I had heard that... Uh, <laughs> A couple sheriff's candidates, McLaughlin and Benedict, had squared off at some sort of luncheon pooch. Now you're refusing to enforce the law because you want to get elected to office and you don't want to look bad. But I documented how do you kidnap a man's children? <laughs> well, you issue a protection order where the respondent isn't given any notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> You keep covering it up because you want to be in office, and in your mind, you're just too important to actually enforce the law. <laughs> now, let's say Sheriff Candidate McLaughlin had knowledge of child abduction, child kidnapping, and the corruption of issuing court orders where I was not given any due process. And then there's the fraudulent use of the state court seal, the forgery of the ex officio superior court clerk, <laughs> and you thought, well, we're going to cover this up until I get elected to office. Then I'll handle this in November, and we'll just keep him homeless. <laughs> we'll continue to hold his sons hostage, and we won't enforce the law. Because we're too fucking important to understand exactly what this means. <laughs> now, for any politician in this nation, considering November 6th is the day of the election, yeah. Let's say that you're personally liable for refusing to enforce the law because you want to get elected to office. <laughs> These candidacy forms that I had mentioned for those that are running for office, <laughs> you actually sign a disclosure that you will support and defend the Constitution of this state, <laughs> the laws of this state, and the laws of the United States. Now, I would think that this policy that we do not kidnap Oh my gosh, political corruption. <laughs> You're getting sued. <laughs>